So I finally beat Bloodborne, and the first question that popped into my head is, how is this possible? And no, I'm not asking how is it possible that I beat the game, I'm asking how is it possible that I missed yet another masterpiece this generation. Now I knew Bloodborne was going to be a, a good game going into it, but the way I've seen you guys react to it and the way people have talked about Bloodborne, I was really a little bit, it was a mixture of excitement and nervousness because um, the excitement stems from the fact that, oh man, am I actually going to actually experience another masterpiece? But the nervousness stemmed from the fact of the uh, the difficulty of the game and, and how tough it is. And, uh, and now that I've completed it, I feel like Bloodborne is a special game. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, and I, I want to address this really quickly before going any further, have I played the DLC yet? No, unfortunately I have not played the DLC yet because this game took me a while to complete. It really tested me. And uh, there's a lot of other games coming out that I want to have a chance to play. And I don't know how much time in general I'm going to have to play all of this stuff because there's just there's so much to get through. But I do plan on playing the DLC in the not too distant future. It's just that I've heard it's very difficult. I heard it ramps things up, takes it to another level. So I kind of want to, you know, take my time through it. I had to take my time through the base game. I see that the DLC is still 20 bucks, which I'm fine with, but I'm assuming that that means it's going to be a pretty decent chunk of content. And again, a lot of what people are telling me is that some of the best parts, some of the best boss battles, and some of the toughest boss battles are in that DLC. So maybe I will make a third video on Bloodborne just talking about the DLC. I'm, I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind that uh, because I really just, you know, I don't want to try to cram everything in here. I also don't want to make this video incredibly long. So getting back into the uh, Bloodborne base game review, absolute masterpiece. I, I can't believe uh, I've played another game uh, so far. Just It's like three in a row, honestly, when it comes to, to, to the masterpiece here. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, which game have I played that I like best? Do, do I like Bloodborne more than God of War and, and The Last of Us? Uh, I think I might, honestly. I, I honestly think I might because Bloodborne... It, it really tested me. You guys know when I talked about my first you know couple of hours with the game, how it's really been pushing me, and it's it's just super tough, man, where you it really tries to push you down and you have to just persist and you have to learn. Like that's the thing. Like you can't you can't get through Bloodborne without really getting good and, and learning uh, and and somewhat mastering the mechanics of the game. Which is what I think the part that I loved about Bloodborne the most. I mean, I loved the theme, right? The gothic theme, um, you know, space horror, all this stuff. It gets really weird, and I, I love that. Like, I love how strange this game begins to get and how things start to unfold, and you start to realize that there's a lot more going on beyond just, uh, you know, the, um, the hunters and, and the beasts. And once you start to figure out, like, what's creating the beasts and where it's coming from and, and, and the old blood, as they call it, and... And it's just so cool, honestly. I mean, it is some really rich storytelling. And it's very subtle storytelling. That's where it's very, very similar to the Dark Souls formula where I had to look into a lot of things. I had to, you know, uh, watch some videos, watch some lore videos to kind of understand what I just seen, what I just went through. And uh, it's actually, when you, when you, you know, whittle it all down, it's pretty simple, but it doesn't present itself in a simple way at all. Uh, it presents itself in a very, um, you know, puzzly type way where you have to try to put the pieces together and figure out like what what you know what does this all add up to and uh one thing i found really interesting was the the ending boss battle okay uh i i found it very interesting how german ends up being the person you have to fight but you also have the option you have the option where you can let him kill you and you wake up from this dream which i don't really i didn't choose that ending because it didn't seem very exciting to me and i i assumed that that would end the game uh, or maybe it wouldn't, but either way, I didn't want to take that chance, so I didn't, I didn't choose that. Um, instead, I, cho I chose to resist that, and then I find out that you end up fighting German. Now, I had an incredibly difficult time with this boss. He was very, very, very tough, and so I had to look up a few strategies on how to take him out because I was just I was having a real struggle, man. It was testing me. I couldn't do it on my own, um, and I happened to come across the... Uh, uh, the umbilical cords and I found out that if you if you consume the three umbilical cords you get a different ending and apparently there's three endings 
and I wanted to make sure I got that what seemed to me the, the coolest ending where you not only fight German but you fight uh, I, I don't know if there's a name for it I didn't really pay attention but this just I guess it's a great one uh, that comes down and you fight him he try it, it tries to consume you and you fight it and it's just so weird man but so cool at the same time we're like there's these great ones that exist on like a different plane uh, that you know isn't comprehensible to, to human beings and apparently if you consume their blood it turns you into beasts and uh, into a beast and um and and after you defeat this great one you turn into an, an infant great one yourself it's so weird man but so cool at the same time because it's 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 one of these stories that you don't know everything right like you just you want to know more like it makes you really want to know like what is going on in this world am i going to actually be able to figure out is it is there a simple answer to this or is it just some weird you know like i still don't i still don't really understand the idea of like the hunter's dream like are you actually in a dream or is this is this just the re like reality now it's it's so strange but so cool and uh and at the same time, like, I, I think that the gameplay, it, it's so cool to me how one second I'm, like, you know, deep in thought trying to figure out, like, what did I just see? What am I looking at? What is going on here? And then the next second, I'm just, like, pure adrenaline, you know, taking out guys left and right, trying to make it through, trying to take out this boss. And not, I'm not asking any questions at that point. I'm just saying I need to kill things to get through, you know. And uh, it's just so cool, man. Um, I really, really loved my time with Bloodborne, even though there were times of extreme frustration and uh, and doubt. <laughs> I was actually doubting I was going to be able to complete the game because of how difficult it got at some parts. I, I did have to recruit some help here and there, summon some people to help me uh, through. And, um, and it's, it's just, you know it's just another masterpiece like I like I said and I, I I totally understand why a lot of people are hoping that Sony and from software continue to do something with the Bloodborne IP because they really have something special here I mean it, it is right up there with Dark Souls I mean a lot of people consider Bloodborne better than the Dark Souls games now I don't know for me it's it's tough they both do things differently they both have a very different presentation style uh, in terms of like the story and and the lore behind it and the uh, and the setting and the theme, but yeah, man, I have to say that like Bloodborne honestly felt more rewarding to play than the Dark Souls games, and it has felt more rewarding to play than most other games I played in a very long time. There is no better feeling than honestly feeling like I'm being suppressed and pushed down and 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 over and over again too. Like it's not just a couple times. I mean, the game does force you to get very good, and you have to master the mechanics. And I honestly feel like I'm, I'm ten times better at the game now, obviously, than I was when I first picked it up. But, uh, but there's just so many different um, challenges that present itself through the bosses and the boss mechanics, and how each boss has a unique, um, a, a unique style that you have to pretty much learn a different move set you have to learn and adapt to in order to get over and i know that that's a staple of like the souls games but in bloodborne it, it to me it felt like it ramped it up at least in terms of speed not with every boss but with most bosses it just it felt like there were moments where things are just so fast i have to be so quick you know and reactive and in the dark souls games and and most other games i just haven't really felt that level of intensity during gameplay during battles and it it's just such a great experience honestly uh there's just something about the world that from software created with with bloodborne that um it it, it, it is it is horrific obviously but it's intriguing like it's it's very much this type of world where you're not you don't like what you're looking at and what you're looking at definitely is a little bit disturbing but at the same time you're like what is this like why why is this and and it makes you ask these questions while simultaneously trying to uh you know push you to your to your limit in terms of of gameplay and and learning to to just be able to master the mechanics it's it's just such a such a amazing blend that just seamlessly comes together to create 
one of the coolest, most interesting gaming experiences I've had in a very long time. Um, you know, I feel like with Dark Souls, I don't want to say things are straightforward because that's not the case. But what I mean is when you look into the lure of Dark Souls, um, things are a little bit more straightforward and things aren't as strange compared to Bloodborne. And I, I don't know. I keep talking about this aspect of Bloodborne because to me, it's just it's so cool. And that's why I actually am pretty excited to experience the DLC because it's called The Old Hunters. And I think it has something to do with like things that have happened in the past. I don't know for sure. But what I do know is that that's the part I'm actually most excited about is to learn more about the story and about the world and how things came to be um, and things like that. Because, man, there's just something about it that uh, that not many other games can, can do this. And I now I now understand why many people see Bloodborne as the game of uh, their personal game of the generation, one of the, you know, the best game they've ever played. A once in a lifetime experience because it is truly special and uh, and you can tell that there's a lot of um, you know there's a lot of, of love and, and 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 craft that goes into these types of games and especially Bloodborne and uh, and yeah I'm excited to see what they do with it in the future I'm excited to play the DLC I'm gonna end the video here because I'm just getting to a point where I'm continuing to gush on it and uh, I don't want to make it an extremely long review, but uh, to sum everything up here, the game is an absolute masterpiece. One of the best games I've played this generation. The most, uh, the most satisfying, rewarding gameplay experience I've had in a long time, and one of the most interesting, weird, bizarre, but intriguing stories I've experienced in a game in a long time as well. So obviously a lot of great things there. I'm uh, very glad I played it. Very glad you guys recommended it. And yeah, that's going to do it for my Bloodborne review. Look forward to eventually me playing the DLC and talking about that as well. At this point, I'm going to ask you to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about what I think of Bloodborne. Be sure to leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. It really lets me know you guys are enjoying the content, enjoying the game reviews. It's important that you let me know. Um, and subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification and share the video out on top of all that because it helps tremendously as well but until next time guys take care